and it is Friday evening, July the 28th. How are you doing? How's your weekend starting? Yeah, whoops. No, I don't want to end streaming. Let's see, cancel that. I hit the X instead of the button that I wanted to. How are you doing? I started just about two minutes early. Give me a chance here to set some things up. Go to my channel over the tablet. Look what I found. I have been doing a little bit of sorting today. Not much, but some. Let me, while we're waiting for folks to come in. Uh, let's see, I've got to skip the ads before I can set the quality on this. And uh, set quality quality from 480 to 720 and whoops it went upside down what did it do oh I turned it off <laughs> I turned off my laptop come on I must have turned it way off I'll give it a minute I found this microwave what's it doing here hold on Well, fiddlesticks. Do, 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 do. I may not be able to see you from... This is an old laptop. There it's coming on. Let me plug it in. Sorry for you to have to sit and wait. I can't set this stuff up till I get online. So, my laptop, I accidentally turned it off. <laughs> it's coming back up. This NEV gifted to me. And I am so glad I found it. Because you can dry flowers in the microwave with this. And... I don't think I can do marigolds because they're pretty poofy. But I think I can do my petunias and some, uh, maybe some begonias. Hi, Teresa. Hello to everybody that's coming in. My laptop's still coming up over here. Let's just give it a minute so that I can, that I am so excited. Thank you, Annie V, for all that you have done for me. I'll tell you. Uh, Annie V watches the replays, or has watched. I don't know how much she's watching right now. Let's see. Let me get out to YouTube. Come on. Whoa. But she gifted me this. She, uh, she was sorting out her studio. Come on, YouTube. There it is. Come on. It's it's going to have to take a while. I'm going to stand up because I don't want to... I'll wait for this to hopefully come up. Well, it's thinking about it. It's... I got the little blue circle going over there. Um, yeah. So I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to put it over over here. But this morning I was I was going through things from Hi Becky. She worked in the yard for 4 hours this morning, Becky says she got it all mowed and can clean up work and and my comments went away. Uh but it got hot pretty fast, she's saying. Clean up work in some of the flower beds, too. But it got hot fast. But thankfully, it stayed below 90. I went out this morning and watered my flowers. Um, didn't water the whole garden because this is an even-numbered day. And 
on even days, on odd days, I uh, we've saved some milk jugs, and on even days, I fill those. Or, uh, on odd days, I fill those jugs with water so that on even numbered days, I can use those waters in the milk jugs to water my porch plants, especially when it gets so hot. So good for you, Becky. I'm so glad that you. There was a problem signing in to your account. Sign in. Well, I think I'm signed in. It's thinking. Come on. Checking info. Don't tell me I have to. I don't know if I can remember my. Well, fiddlesticks. Anyway, this morning, verify it's you. You were signed out of your Google account. Ver don't forget to come back and get me. <laughs> Let's see. Now, oh, I guess I should have just not come on tonight. Oh, dearie me. All right. This says I'm back. Live chat. Okay. I'm back. Thank you, Becky. Hi, Darla Kay. I came just in time for some spooling. <laughs> How does one know if Mary starts again? <laughs> uh, um, you just have to check back. Don't forget to come back and get me, Becky says. I went to Ollie's tonight and found a nice watercolor set for $4.99. I received a postcard for 10% off at Ollie's and... Since Scott was going to Harbor Freight, I told him to drop me off at Ollie's. Well, how cool is that, Becky? Thank you, Becky. Yeah. Um, I had to sign back in, and I had to verify it was me. And it sent the message to the phone that I'm recording on. So, <laughs> it it... The, my phone up there that I was recording on stopped the stream so that I could answer that message. And I've never seen it do that before. So that's what happened there. So I had to cancel out of all of that. And I did get in here for some reason. Teresa said, whew, I thought it was me. There goes my internet again. No, it was me. Becky said she took out two huge bushes with a handsaw. I told Scott I wanted to turn that particular flower bed into a potted herb garden. Oh, how cool would that be, Becky? Teresa said it stormed where she was all day. Found me a national canner in the style of all the American for $90. That sounds like a good deal. I don't know much about that. Sherry Ben, hi, Sherry Ben. Teresa, Leah. All right, I think I'm caught up with you guys. So let me reiterate, because I don't know what you guys saw and what you didn't. I am going to sort through this box. It's one of my, it's not the very last box, but I'm getting down there. And I think this box is kind of sorted through, but I need to sort out my sorting. And, but look what was in here. This is a deal that you can microwave flowers in. It's a press. So I am anxious. I got this from Annie V. Bless her heart. Annie V, I just so appreciate what you've done for me. So Annie V was downsizing her studio, and she sent me, oh, my goodness, she sent me a lot of stuff that I have really appreciated. And I said, well, why don't you let me pay some post? No, you don't need to pay postage. So... I have some little boxes down below behind me that I'm going to put stuff in. But see, look, here's some tissue paper and some stationery. What I'm going to keep my eyes off of, if you saw my morning stream, I think I kept these out for scribble pads, scribble journals. Um, I did a pinup girl. She's underneath this box. A pinup doll. Because I pinned a message, I pinned a, 
I had Arlene, Miss Linux 210, 2010 came in, and Arlene, I had her drop a link, and then I pinned it. And I said, well, you, I'll do a pinup doll for you. <laughs> and so we were kind of laughing about that. So I did a pinup doll dedicated to Lena. She's not Lena. She's under this box. You'll see her after I take off this box. But then, you know how one idea grabs onto another? I said, well, I should just do a pinup doll journal. So I, I won't do another pinup doll for a little while yet. Here's some ribbon, sorry, sorry scarf stuff. I, I like this. I like to play with it and make, make, uh, hanging tags and what all with it. I'm going to start putting these in little boxes here. This is a ledger, and I think I got this either from Johnny or Keisha. I, I, this looks like it might be, well, I think, did I do that? I think I might have done this. Uh, I got this far with it. Let's see, hold on, let me, oh no, you know what this is? This is my Oaxaca, 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 whatever that, this was a, the caboodle that I started for with uh, Rosemary. And I did do some pages in here. I'll get back to this stuff. I just haven't. See, I did do some some pages in here. But I need to do more. Look, I stitched this on. What was on the back? I did slow stitching. Oh, I stitched this on. Just didn't stitch it on. I stitched around it. And I did. These are representative of Mexican tiles. Gosh, did I draw those? Oh, I see what I did. I, I, I think I drew these and it soaked through. So I have the other side here. I guess. And then I have some, some more tiles over here. Um, some information about Mexico here. Uh, once I get organized, I'm going to go back and finish a lot of these caboodles. Rosemary just keeps doing them. I just can't keep up with it. So this will actually go in a in a journal. But all of these, I think I've been saving these for, for scribble journals. These little pads here. I've been saving. And this is nice cardboard. Most of it's cardboard, I guess. Um, so most of what's in here are packs like this that I'm going to go through separately. I'm going to put these in a box. Here's some... Oh, I had, uh, I had some painted... When I was hanging out with Gina Ahrens and Cindy Utter, we did a paintbrush swap. And I had them up on one of my shelves, and they all fell down. Should be another one in here. Or it got away from me. But here's some broken jewelry. So I'm going to go through all this stuff separately. I'm just going to put the bags in a, in a smaller box. So when I do my, my imagine, unimaginable imagination journal... I can pull these out of the box. I think this is, these are some cards. Uh, let's see exactly. I think these are Christmas cards. These are cards that I got my, uh, my nephew's wife gave these to me after his mother passed away. My nephew's mother passed away. And these are some things that she had. And she said, can you use these in your art? And I took them. And I'm going to put them with my scribble journals is what I'm going to do. And I'll go through that. And here's, here's another little card to a dear friend. I don't think this was sent to me. I think this is a just a blank card. Put that in there. All right, here's some book text. Uh, she comes to grief. 
what which book is this prudence of the parsonage i think i used this book cover for an art journal a junk journal let me put that down in that box and then i have fussy cuts papers to sort through of course i got it upside down major feats of organization Omaha at the confluence of industry and culture and this looks like the back of it so I think this this was a coin book that I was fussy cutting out I'm gonna put these in here for fussy cuts fussy cutting and I'm gonna put that down there with that other package and oh my goodness Reader's Digest, How in the World, More Fussy Cutting, and there's a transparent page, a book page. Here's a marker pad. This goes with the paper. This is how I sort. And see, I get into things like this. That could go in one of my what's this I think this is all fussy cutting dictionary words that's all fussy cutting fussy cutting and then here's another gift from Annie V she sent me this book and inside here I have really neat stuff that she sent like this rice paper and um, this was when I was doing so much of that Art Nouveau journal so let's see this is all fussy cutting here let me I opened it up which might have been a mistake let me get it reorganized here And I'm going to put this with it. And I'll have to go through all of this separately. But I just need to know what I have here. Let me put this on the inside. And put this band. Isn't this cool? Isn't this a cool book cover? I had this, this sitting out at my recliner for the longest time. And I finally had to move it. And what's this? This is just a, a, a page, a, a book that I can use for glue, glue back. Here's another fussy cut. Only these seems, these seem like they are, have been fussy cut in here. Oh look, here's a calendar. <laughs> Where do you do pinup dolls on calendars? I was looking for a calendar. Here's one, a 219, and I can fold this. This was done by the Easter Seal Foundation. Whoops. Easter Seal Foundation. I'm going to keep that out for the pinup dolls. And these are just more fussy cuts in here. This was a book. I, I take these books apart to get to the cover, and I saved the book jackets. This is a priority envelope of papers in envelopes, and it looks like some, these letters, these are some of those letters to, um, that first stack of letters I got to Norman Harris. I've got another pack of those. And, but they got mixed up in here because I think I dropped the envelope. I dropped the folder. I'm going to take these out. And I think I've already inventoried the, I don't think this is a part. Yeah, it is. I've already inventoried the other.
package of them. I'm going to keep those out. And see, here's papers I can... This is, this is a little... These are tarot cards. And I got them because they are so... Um, they're so cool that I thought they'd make nice stencils. I thought they'd make, well, I think this one is, these are China ones. I guess these aren't tarot ones. These will go in my oriental caboodle. So let me put that down with the little stuff. And I really was keeping an eye out for papers, and that's what this is. So we're going to keep this separate. These are papers. And this, these are mostly fussy cut stuff. Fussy cuts. And what's this? It looks like just a, a backing of sorts, but this is a fussy cut. Let's just put it in there. So my box is falling apart here. Here's just an envelope, a blue envelope. And here's some of those stencil pieces. I'm going to keep those out. Um, they're really plastic Avery dividers, but I like this so much because it's just like, it's really cool to cut stencils on these. Here, let me show you the package. Avery, you have to get the, you have to watch for the eight tabs that are plastic. You don't, because they also sell paper ones. And... For the stencils, I prefer the plastic. So if you're, yeah, it's more of that. If you're interested in that. And here's some more, what's this? This is a, a book that I think uh, did, uh, somebody, one of you sent this to me. But it's, it's a watercolor sketchbook. This would be nice for. You know, maybe I bought this. It's a Stillman, Stillman Burn. They were selling these at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, I'm so disappointed in Hobby Lobby. Um, disappointed in... All I see is their paper studio stuff. And then, so here's stuff that I wipe off pages and stuff. And that'll go down in my... box down below and I got to get to the bottom of this oh and I think I'm there and this is a a journal uh, what is this let me get see this box is falling apart I think this box is done for I'm gonna throw it away I don't think I could well I might be able to tape it together with packing tape I don't know. I don't have many boxes that size. Ha! Look, I'm down to the bottom, except i got to see what's in this journal. Uh, this might not be mine. This might just be a blank one that was left over from, from uh, my brother's significant other. I don't use these types of papers here. I don't care for them. But it's a nice book. It did make a nice art journal. But I think I'm going to throw all these pages away. I don't think I even want to. Well, I could save the transparency. But the sticky stuff, look how it's getting old. Let me get rid of this. Hold on. Let me shove this box. I got a little box and a big box. And I'll have to pick that off the floor after I'm done. I'm going to sit here and... Let's see. Let's put these in, now that I'm settled down here. Oh, I lost chat. Oh, and you guys, I'm so sorry. I see everything really good up here. I don't see it good on my tablet. Let me tip my... Let me fix this. Uh, you probably got a really bad view of this as I was going through there. Let me put this stuff in the, the small, the smaller peg box. 
the box of smaller stuff. What's over there? Okay. Ah, this camera still isn't right, and I keep losing my chat. Top chat, live chat. Thank you guys for coming in. It looks fine up here. It looks almost too big. But when I look in my tablet, I don't know what you guys are seeing. When I look in my tablet, there, that's a little better. All right, so I'm going to pull these. I'm going to open this up without knocking you guys off on the floor. Hold on. And pull all of these pages out and I'm going to save the plastic off of them the transparent plastic but I don't want the the sticky stuff because it it ages and look what it does I mean aging is fine for I guess for our stuff it's okay but this is what happens when you don't have acid free you would not want to put your good photos on this and I'm not even sure if I can get this off without ripping it apart. Well, let me take them out first. So I thought I would do just a little sorting here. Just that one box. And this is the last item. I'm going to keep the notebook. I'm going to throw away all the, the papers. Hi, Candy! Paula says, I've heard Stillman and Burns is great. Really? Well, that's interesting. Hobby Lobby's not selling it anymore. They are only selling their paper studio stuff and their Master Touch and their, their store brand. Which I really, I have to be honest, I don't care for it. I'd rather have Strathmore or, or some other brand. Uh, sorry, Hobby Lobby. You got rid of the good stuff. And, you know, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby for several weeks. <laughs> they got rid of their coupon. That disappointed me. I I like it. I don't criticize the store because of their religious practices. I criticize them because, look, this stuff is literally useless. I don't think I'm going to be able to save the, these. It's just stuck to it you couldn't even use it you couldn't even use it because it's you couldn't even get a photo in there i can't even get it open opened up maybe this one and it's really thin but if I could use them for transparent art journal pages, we'll see what it, if it'll go around the edge here. And it's kind of yellowing in here. Yeah, I don't know if the yellow is coming from there or there. Let's see, you get to the end here, and it sticks. So I think I'm going to throw all of these away. This is just, this is going in the trash. I'm not even going to try to repurpose it. There. All right. So I sorted out a box between the bigger stuff and, and the smaller stuff. The smaller stuff, I'm not going to do it tonight. But I think I'm going to make some more little scribble journals for out at my recliner. And the bigger stuff is a lot of fussy cutting and papers. And I saved that calendar out because I think I am going to do my pinup girl. And and I say these are stent the, what I use for stencils, and that's just uh, I got this out to, for a glue to glue on. Let me put that in here over to the side here. So I'm doing some gluing, and these will these will get saved. I'll be I haven't cut a stencil in a long time. But I'm not going to tonight. So let's <laughs> let's take this calendar apart. 
and maybe make a little pinup girl. It's stapled here. And I'm going to paint envelopes tonight. Find my staple remover. That's the one thing I put back that I can always reach for. I have a little cubby hole for this staple remover. And I seem to always get that put away. And I found my tiny attacher and I found that microwave flower thing. I'm so happy that I found that. Throw that away before I step on it. And I guess it has three staples in it. This was an Easter seal cattle, uh, calendar for free at the two, two staples. Free at the thrift store. And I'm just going to make a little pinup girl. Let's see. Let's tear it this way. And fold it. A little pinup girl art journal. Get my phone folder. I had it in here. Just like I need another project. <laughs> I had so much fun doing that pinup girl. Here it is, here. For Lena. <laughs> I, I kind of, uh, I put some feathery fun fur on her hand here, and then I put this little deal on afterwards, this little, I found this on this little beaded loop. I found it on the, the floor. I'm not on my live button. And then I colored this blue after the stream colored the lace blue and I made it kind of Frenchy because this is a Paris calendar but it's a pinup doll dedicated to Miss Linux 2010 she streams on Fridays at noon Eastern and Chris did send me her schedule of when she streams so I want to start getting those all in order let me put that back down there uh, so that when when I say who streams after me, I don't have to say now who who's on next And we will just use the the pages as they are from Easter seals maybe uh, I'm not sure how this goes good with pinup girls. I might find another calendar But I'm gonna go ahead and fold these pages and I'll put it down with my little stuff. I kind of, well, you see, now I like this because it's so artsy. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I could just, you know, keep the calendar stuff. We'll see. Well, this is pretty artsy, too. I might use it. going to do a pinup art journal <laughs> now that I found the calendar by just sorting through that box there's some fishies and seahorse they did a pretty good job on that some sharks this shark looks like it's eating something it's got something in, in there it got a little seahorse maybe some seaweed Easter Seal calendar 2019. I got it at the thrift store. My goodness, that's been what? 21, 22, 23. That's been it's this says this one this month is July. Um it's been three years since I picked up this calendar. Doesn't seem that long. 
one the thing about using a calendar this way is my numbers will be upside down or my picture will be upside down on some pages it doesn't matter but I've got uh, some other calendars that Lang calendars older Lang calendars that belong to my brother's significant other and I asked him if I could have them those would make nice but now that I'm started I'm just gonna finish this and I'll put it down below this is cool it's a snowman <laughs> and this is cool they did a good job on them look at this bee <laughs> Aww. I missed my calling I should have been an art teacher <laughs> yeah the way the schools are today I don't think I would the public schools and there's so much controversy and those poor kids half of them not half of them but a lot of those kids are trying to figure out who they are I was trying to figure out who I was at that age too but not in that way you know they're having all that controversy about whether children should be well now not high school so much but young kids before they're trying to figure out who they are and they're trying to do sex chains operations and all that before they reach our age and they might regret regret it some of them may not i don't know i'm just just saying i don't i'm not going to voice any opinion for or against it because that's something they have to settle between them and their creator, not them and me. I do know, though, that if I had a child and the school did not tell me what was going on, I would be pretty upset. Stop! <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just going to, I actually like this better than I do the calendar thing, because it has the, and I would have to tear these off a little. I'll, I'll figure this out, I don't know if I want to use this for the pinup dolls, but I'll use it as some sort of a journal. So that's going down into the small package. Look, I'm down at the bottom. And I have been painting envelopes. That's what else I want to do tonight is paint envelopes. And I've got all four of them to do. So let me come out and look at chat before I get started. Let me come out and look at chat and welcome you all in. I had a bit of a, a tough start. And look how crooked my phone is. That just drives me crazy. Let's zoom in a little. Zoop. 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 Now. <sighs> All right. Put my bone folder away. Poor Penelope, she really gets... <laughs> Put my staple remover away. scissors up here I also want to finish out up painting these so that I can move on I don't know if I'll get to them tonight we did the ghost is done and this one was done except I needed to tie a a ribbon on it a hanger and this is the gnome I'm working on I gave him a plaid shirt I don't know he's pretty much done I think I need to glaze him Maybe work on his face a little more. And we're ready to do the cowboy. <laughs> we got some okra planted, but it's only about... I, mean, I would be surprised if it's two and a half feet high. Uh, I don't know. Our weather has been so weird lately. All right. 
I was going to come out and look at Chad. Dee Dee! There's Dee Dee! Hi, Dee Dee! She said, I've had that happen, Paula. I leave and come back, and it usually fixes it. Paula says, I'm having something repeat over and over. Really? <laughs> oh, no. I hope that it's not boring you too much, Paula. Oh, dear. She was here, here earlier. Leave and come back. Paula says, I've been hearing Mary repeat something over ten times now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's three times. Dee Dee, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? I've miss, been missing your chat because I've been, uh, after I stream in the mornings, I've been running out and taking care of the garden. I actually made a pizza this morning. I um, grabbed two small onions out of our little green green onions. They're still, they're not growing big though. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're not supposed to, but... I know my dad would plant onions, and he'd have all these big, huge onions, <laughs> yellow onions. And, and, and uh, I don't know. I think, I, you know, truthfully what I think, I think that whole garden out there needs to be uh, fertilized. I, I, I mean, I think we need an entire, I, I don't, I think our soil is lacking some nutrients. And I try to fertilize. I bought big bags of fertilizer, and when I plant, I put it in. Now, my zinnias are doing pretty good. I'm waiting for them. They haven't budded yet. Um, Laura Vasquez gifted me some seed packets that her, I think it was her son. I don't know. One, somebody in her family worked at a store, and they didn't want to throw. They were didn't want to throw away all those seed packets, so they gave them to her. And she didn't need all of them, so she sent me some, and she sent me a whole bunch of zinnia seed. And I just, and that was last year, and I threw them out in the garden this year, and they are growing quite nice. They haven't bloomed yet, and they're giant zinnias. I can't wait. And Becky's, oh, five years ago, Becky sent me uh, a hydrangea plant. <gasps> oh, that's doing beautiful this year. I'm so proud of, I, call, I named that hydrangea Becky. Let me go down to the bottom. It's much better now, Paula. Oh, that's good. What kind of peppers? Did I say peppers? Who said peppers? Oh, Dee Dee did. She said, Dee Dee's, Dee Dee's garden is beautiful. <laughs> and we think the coons are getting to our corn. But, um, I don't know. My brother, my brother likes to supervise, but he doesn't. He'll go out there and he'll pick. He goes out every morning. He'll bring in zucchini and cucumbers, and and those seem to be doing pretty good. But I get after him because he doesn't like to weed, and he needs to water more. Um, I finally broke down and watered the sweet corn and watered his cucumbers and zucchini because those they were wilty. They were just in this heat, and. I went out there in the morning, and after I watered the next morning, and they looked so pretty. You know, they just needed a drink. <laughs> Becky says, yeah. What did you say? Yeah, to Becky. Have a, oh, nice, how wonderful. Banana peppers, jalapenos, and bell peppers. Wow, Dee Dee. I can't get peppers to grow out there. I will say, I brought in this... I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> I um, my brother eats when he wants. He eats all day long. I told him that. But today, after I went out there and gardened, I brought in. I have these little um, cherry tomatoes, and they're finally starting to get ripe. I picked about six of them, and I pulled two onions from the from the garden. Two little eating green onions. And I had some mushrooms in the pantry, and I had some pepperoni that I got the last time, and I had some mozzarella cheese, and you know what I did? I made me some little personal pan pizzas. 
And I ate one of them. My brother came in and he said, what are you doing? What are you making? I said, these are for my lunches. He eats all day long. And I was grinding my pizzas because I didn't want, and I had them all cooked up and everything. I know he wanted one, but I wasn't going to let him have it. I said, I'm freezing those for my lunches. Uh, I get hungry and, uh, you know, for, for lunch, I get hungry and I don't want to just eat sweet stuff all day long. And that, of course, pizza. <laughs> but anyway, I, I had to laugh because I was so cruel to my brother. I wouldn't let him eat my little pizzas. I only made three of them and I ate one and I froze the other two. I thought Mary was just really trying to make an important point, and I got it. <laughs> oh, Paula, that's so funny. Teresa said, or no, Taro, Taro, S-T-A-C-H-E? Well, welcome. I don't think I've seen you in here before, but welcome. Um, glad to have you join us. You'll find that this group of ladies is a art art group of ladies are some of the nicest art group folks online of course they're all nice but i'm partial to you folks uh would somebody paula put in some i can't uh on on this it won't let me yeah somebody took care of it. no would somebody yeah somebody took care of it Oh, she says, yeah, to the hydrangea. Yeah, oh, Becky, it's so pretty. It, it's it got two really big blooms. Now, the first big bloom was white, and I took a picture of that, and then it turned a pretty pink color. Now it's starting, the first one is starting to fade away. But, you know, dried hydrangeas are pretty. They they You can't shake them loose, I don't think. But the second one came on is in the pink stage now, and it's really pretty. And then I've got a, a, a smaller kind of a snowball one over here that's pink. And, you know, the plant probably itself was probably about three and a half feet tall. And I know they get taller than that, but, you know, I'm just so happy to see blossoms from it. I love it, Becky. Tarot stash. Tarot stash. You're a longtime viewer? Well, welcome. I'm glad you decided to come in and join us. Welcome, welcome. Becky dropped a link to her channel and to Dee Dee's channel. Thank you, Becky, for doing that. I would pin you up, but I will be all night at making another pin up. We'll just, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do, if I get sidetracked, I won't get my envelopes painted. Every now and then, when we drop links, I'm going to do a pinup doll. I'm not quite ready to, to do that again today. Then I'm going to make a journal of pinup dolls. <laughs> uh, tarot stash. Well, I'm so glad you joined us. Becky says, anyone else want me to share your channels? Yes, Becky, that's a that's a good thing. If you're out there and if you're if you have something on your channel that you want to share or you just want Becky to share your channel link, Speak up, and and Becky will go find it. It's because I read tarot, and I have a handlebar mustache. Oh, wait. Let me go to your channel. Are you a are you a fellow, or are you a lady? Let me go to your channel. You have a mustache. Oh, there you are, tarot stash. Welcome to my channel where I enjoy acquiring tarot. I don't, I'm really not into tarot, but you do you. Welcome to my channel. I enjoy acquiring tarot stash. Oh, and you, you're calling it stash because of the mustache. I do weekly live chats about tarot and other things that bring me joy. Well, if it brings you joy, that's, that's the important thing. If you'd like to join me to discuss a deck we have in common, email me. And he leaves his email address. If you wish to make a donation um, at friends and family, there's that. Um, people have asked me where I got tarot card fan. It's from Enlightened Clothing Co. 
Etsy shop. And it leaves a link. I'm not affiliated with the shop. It's just fun to know that Tarot Sash sent you. Let, okay. So, channels, community. What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? I explore channeling with Betsy Palmer. This is a video of the creation of Ravenswood 10, a fabric landscape created. Now, see, I do like you. You look like you do some art here. This is a video of the creation of Ravenswood 10, May 21, a fabric landscape. Caffeinated and unfiltered readings. Let's leave your playlist. You, do you have an artsy? Are you all tarot? That one looked... Well, anyway, welcome to... Welcome to our, uh, our group. We're an art group. I, I don't know, it might be a little boring to you, but if you listen in the background... Uh, Calico Kate dropped her channel link. Thank you, Cal Kathy. It's because I read tarot and I have a stash. That's me. I posted some videos of recent fabric landscapes. Now, see, that would interest people in our group. I can't speak for the tarot because, personally, I'm not into that. I know nothing about it. I know that... Uh, at Keisha's Creations Auctions, I did buy some playing cards that they said were tarot cards. But I bought them because I liked the design. <laughs> I bought them because I thought they would make really neat stencils. Good night, Dee Dee. Thanks for popping in. She said she's heading out. Have a great night, everyone. Dee Dee, thanks for popping in and saying hello. And you have a really super deeper weekend. I'll, I'll try to catch you next week oh dear they're all saying good night to Dee Dee who, who else have I missed here uh, Becky Paula loves art Dee Dee I had a bit of a rough start to my stream tonight um, yeah fabric landscapes uh, Dee Dee says fabric landscapes do you post them stash? Tarot stash says, It's been a while since I've worked on my art journals because I'm also enjoying sewing fabric landscapes. Oh, that sounds interesting, Tarot stash. Um, this is a good time-saving tip, Becky. Becky said, Those would make great envelopes. Oh, the calendar pages would make great envelopes? Becky says, I like to cut several things out in the same color so that I can work production style so I don't have to swap out the thread. Becky is doing Project Dress Girl, and uh, the dresses are just so cute. They are so darling. They're lucky to have you, Becky. Becky says, sorry, I can't type tonight. I can't type ever. She's tired from all her yard work that she did today. Kathy Calico Kate says, that's how I was last summer, Becky. This summer, I'm not as interested in sewing, although I do some. Becky says, I miss arting, but I'm having so much fun, <laughs> fun sewing the little dresses. You're going to have to go to, I saw that you did uh, Friday Sews, and so did uh, Pam. But it, let me tell you, after my stream this morning, I went out in the garden, and I worked for a little over an hour in the garden and on the front porch taking care of things. And then I made those pizzas and had lunch, and uh, then I fell asleep. <laughs> I was tired. I was thinking, you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and stream for 4 or 5 hours, and, you, you know, it really does tire you out. So I miss a lot after I stream. Dee Dee says, I love your little dresses, Becky. Uh, Dee Dee says, Becky, do you want to tell her to trash those or should I? 
Those photo albums are horrible for your photos. Yeah, I trashed them. I figured that one out. I figured that one out. I trashed them. I knew that they were would damage the photos. I knew that from my scrapbooking days. And I, you know, they are empty. So I, I don't know what the other photo albums look like. Um, she had a whole bunch of photo albums of her kids and uh, her oldest son. They were upstairs. I just put them all in a pile. But her oldest son stopped by one day and grabbed a whole bunch of them because, you know, they don't mean anything to me and they don't mean anything to my brother because they were of her kids in her prior marriage. She got a divorce and... Uh, um, you know, she loved her kids and she had all those photo albums. Well, she passed away um, in 2013, I believe. And uh, all those photo albums are upstairs, were upstairs. And her oldest son stopped by one day and took a lot of them home with him. And I'm so glad he did. Uh, I'm so glad he did. But, you know, you think I have a lot of stuff She's got stuff up there that I keep telling my brother. There's, I've been here. I'm living with my brother. He's given me a roof over my head. And thank God. And, uh, um, you know, he's got this big house. He says, I've got this big house with all these rooms. And don't, don't sleep on the street. <laughs> so, but for the seven years that I've been home here, I call it home now, been back in Nebraska, the seven years that I've been here, that stuff is just set up there. And she's got, she's got teddy bears and dolls and seasonal things for like Thanksgiving and Easter. And there's some stuff, she's got a whole box of her son's, uh, she had two boys, uh, of their schoolwork. And they're, they're old men now, they're in their 40s and 50s. She also has a tote bag of afghans that she crocheted, and she priced them, and they're folded up real nice, and they're priced, and they're in tote bags upstairs, and uh, I'm afraid to do anything with them because my brother thinks they're valuable, you know? Well, he saw all the work that she put in them, and uh, so, I, I mean, that stuff just sits up there. Um, I know my brother commented one day that he, well... He doesn't know. He, he kind of hems and haws about what to do with the, everything. You know, if he passes away, all of this stuff here at this house will go to my nephew, except for my stuff. And, uh, you know, he says, I sure hate to have them sorted out, but you know, I think his wife would just hire somebody to come in and clean it out. I, I do. I don't think she would mess with it. And that would be okay with me. I'll get all my stuff out. You know, there's not much. There might be a few things that belong to my mother, like those my mother's books and things. I might want those. Um, there might be a few things that I would want, but I've got enough. Okay, let me go down to the bottom of the chat. I want to thank you all for, for popping in and Tarot Stash. You're, you get back to your art journaling. <laughs> Paula says, I feel like her boys would want the afghans she made. I don't think they would. Uh, they're not, I don't know. The young ones today just are not into stuff like we were. Now, she had some life-size, not life-size dolls. She had some art dolls. I mean, they, were, they weren't art dolls in the sense that we make them. They were art dolls that, you know, they were handmade dolls. And they were beautifully done. And one of them was riding a tricycle and carrying a little wagon with another smaller doll in the wagon. And then the other one is still out in the dining room. It's like a little Alice in Wonderland doll sitting in a, in a little chair with a heart. You know, the chair's got a tall back. And uh, I tried to, you know, I, I, her granddaughter and, you know, the her granddaughter... Uh, her son's daughter, her youngest son's daughter, is a senior. Was a senior in high school at the time, but I had a hard time. I, 
and, and then she had a Samantha, American Girl Samantha doll. I think it was American Girl Samantha doll. And one of her other grandchildren from the oldest boy, his name was Samantha. And I know she got that doll for that child who was a child when she bought it. Evidently, she never gave it to her. And I, I got three or four of those dolls together. And when my brother was invited to one of their Christmas gatherings, I, I told him to take those dolls and hand them out to the girls. But I don't think kids today value the same things that we do. I, I don't, you know, they would probably take those Afghans and sell them. And I, you know, I, I make my own Afghans. I don't, you know, I just leave them up there because... If I try to do anything with him, it'll get make him all upset. Hi, Stacy. Did I say hello to you? <sighs> Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, my eclectic life. Hi, Lisa. Welcome in. I'm glad to see you. I've been chattering. I'm going to paint. I was, I was going through that box of stash, and it's all behind me now. <laughs> Let me... Get some wax paper out here. Let me reach for it. Reach. Reach. It's not cooperating. It's caught in there. And I learned that now, this I painted. I My water might be a little white. Well, not too bad. But... I have found that if I put water on my desk, and this is a glass mat, so I can do that, and put my wax paper over it, it holds my wax paper down. And, yeah. <laughs> so I just take and spread some uh, with my paintbrush. The water's not too dirty. I cleaned it out the other day. <laughs> and then, this keeps my wax paper from floating around on my desk and it was time for me to change it and it holds it it grips it good it grips it pretty good except for I got stuff there we're gonna paint on envelopes tonight and I'm gonna get another piece of wax paper out for a palette I just about have this one done um, I want to do the flowers I want and instead of painting I think I'm gonna use a marker to make the the lace black the the wings will be black so this one you know they're not well I do want to put some stitching on it maybe with my fine liner I'll put some white little stitches in here but uh, yeah this one is just about done let's grab a a pin plus gear here and what I'm thinking here is that I just want black kind of a black tail here and I'm gonna leave leave some white here so that you can see what's white and what's black I don't know I hope this works I think it will. And I have to go in with white there. Now, I don't want to... It's hard for me to see what I'm doing here because I get shadow. My lighting is not the greatest. But these are just painted envelopes that I'm going to put the birds in. I wanted to work on Karen's this afternoon and I fell asleep. My brother laughs with, at me because sometimes I'm watching YouTube or reading Facebook or something and I'll be holding the phone in my hand <laughs> and I'll be asleep. He's holding that phone in my hand. Does that happen to you guys? Sometimes I wake up and the video is all over with. Sometimes when I'm listening to like a news segment or something, 
they talk me to sleep. <laughs> what were you talking about? It must have bored me or something. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. And I think I'll come along here with the outline on the blue and outline this and maybe outline some of that other stuff that didn't get. I call this detailing when I come in with my pen again. I kind of detail it. And I've got some envelopes that I want to send to Danny and and uh, Arlene they're sitting over there and I got some fractor art that I made for them and I want to get back to doing that here's the problem there's just too much fun in this art world there's just too much fun <laughs> but I do want to get these done I might be working on these Sunday night even so it takes me a while once I get to this stage. And, you know, I, I'm not going to do all the fancy, fancy lace. Like, well, I don't even know what's over here someplace. Like, what this lace here is representing is the lace that I put on the tail of the birds. This happens to be... Janet's bird. There's the eye and the beak and it's got a flower and a I think you can see this eye better. It's got a circle there with a feather and a bow and then the, the travel charms. Janet Nash inspired. And she had a video out. What was she doing? I can't remember. She makes these process videos, and I get so inspired. I have to be careful how inspired I get, because then I get behind. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I think you can. I'm just coloring in these wings. And I thought it would be easier to do this black with a marker rather than paint. Becky paints envelopes, and I think that's where I picked up the idea to paint envelopes from Becky, because I got one of a snowman from her. It's so cute. It's in one of my art journals. I made an art journal page, put it on an art journal page. And, of course, with the pen, if you hold it to the light, you can actually, it kind of looks like a dark purple. It's kind of interesting, the ink on these pen plus gears. So when they make that ink, they're probably, it's probably made with a blue, something blue in there. The black. The black is not a pure black, is what I'm saying. But it's black enough for this. But you can tell when you hold it up to the light, you can see it looks like a dark, dark purple. It's kind of interesting. I'd like to know what they put in this ink. What do you put in your ink? All right, so let's just do some touching up here. This one's about done. I want to paint those flowers. And this is my tatted butterfly on the tail here. And it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Look, I didn't paint that. Should probably, I should probably be black. Let's do it black. Yeah, it's 
probably why I didn't paint it. So let's do, I didn't, haven't painted the beak yet. So Becky worked in the yard today. Uh, got pretty hot here. I don't know what, it, we did have some, I think it sprinkled a little, but I heard thunder. And they're saying it. It might storm this weekend, so after all this hot weather, I think my plants would enjoy some natural rain. And this represents a, a tat. Uh, coming down here a thread and this is a tatted ring but my pen is so it's it's not a fine point so it it's pretty it looks like it's been tatted with four ply yarn <laughs> pretty the lines are pretty thick and then we got a bow here and, and some dangles the dangles are on Lala's. Janet's has travel charms. And I'm not quite done with Chaz's yet. I I still I'm still adding stuff to Chaz's bird. Yeah, I'm not quite I'm not quite finished with that. So Chaz, if they're out there listening, which she's probably asleep now, she's on the other side of the world. She came into my morning chat and said, it's so nice to spend Friday evenings with you. <laughs> I had to remind myself that it's evening for her. And this is just, was, uh, represented, represents Lala's dangles here, only hers are green. And I just made a group of them there. This is Lala's bird. I'm pretty happy with Lala's. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with Janet's, but Chaz's. I'm going to take these off and put a crown on there instead. And I had white around the eyes, and I didn't like that, and I tore all that out. And it still needs it still needs something. It I I, I just I'm not going to send it off until I'm done with it. <laughs> and I'm working on Karen's. It's out on my recliner all right and it's got a red breast here robin red breast only it's blue <laughs> the robin is blue instead of dark colored and i don't know if i can i should get out my sharpie and do this but There we go there. And I think I'll just leave the little sparks alone there. So let me, I'm just about done with this. I want to color the beak. Whoops, I haven't done this. And I want to color the flowers. Maybe I'll make them the same color, an orange if I can find it. Do I have an orange, an orange, an orange? I have a, a pearl orange, a Martha Stewart pearl orange. Yellows, I got Georgia clay. Uh, I don't buy much orange. I'm going to have to get me some orange. I probably have some in my drawer over there. Let me look. I've got some of this mixed up. I think I think I'll go with this because I don't need a whole lot. Now I don't know if orange flowers on a red background may not show up very good. But we'll 
We'll see what happens with the beak. And as, uh, let's put it back on here. I was watching, I popped in on uh, Pink Girly, wasn't today, yesterday, and she said, don't do as I say, don't do as I do, do as I say. She warned us about putting your brushes down into the paint because it contaminates it. And here, let's do this. And, oh, that's all I need. Just a little. Don't need much. I'm going to paint the beak just a little bit here. Actually, I think I can do those flowers in orange, too. I think they'll show up enough. This is a brighter orange. This is a Martha Stewart satin pearl. Not satin pearl. And I've got enough paint to paint everything we'll just paint them up here i kind of like that i think what i'm going to do i'm not totally happy with these dangles i'm going to outline these dangles a little with this just kind of come down like so Maybe bring that up a little. No, I don't know. So it looks a little bit like the light might be reflecting off of them. Maybe I'll do the whole dangle. We'll just do this one side for now. I kind of like it. You guys remember when we did so many pick tens and dirty dozens? I feel like I should be doing one of those sometime soon. But I hate to start another project. I got a postcard base of postcards that I was going to do with a... I started a pick ten. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. Get a little more paint on this one. I kind of like that. So I got the eye and the crown. I'm actually kind of happy with it the way it is. Let's take some of this orange and let's put some dots. Let's see if I can get dots. Some orange dots in here. Start dressing it up a little. And I'll have to let this dry before I start doing any more marking. And I'll paint on the other one. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me go back over these flowers a little better. This is a pearl-based paint. Do that petal. And let's put some, since I got it out, let's do some in the crown here. It's kind of shiny. 
I like that. And I could even take and do dots down the tap. Just kind of decorate her up. Since I've got it on the ribbon. Uh, I don't know, though, because if I put dots in there, no, I don't think I'm going to. Oh, let's wash out my brush. I have a paper towel up. Let me get a paper towel. Oh, hold on. Well, we got one envelope almost done. Let me wash out my brush. It's pretty clean. Let's take this pen plus gear and do the eye here. Just give it a black eye. Maybe I'll put a little dot in there. I can't do much while the paint is wet, but I'm going to take this fine liner. Let's see what I can do with this. And all I want to do are some little running stitches here if I can. Maybe we can do um, the running stitches down the ribbon here. The tat. Well, it, of course, if it was tatted, it would be, it would look different. But I'm just going to put little running stitches down here, just to kind of decorate it up. And then on the, we'll do little, on the ring here, we'll do little lines like that. I like that. And I'll come in with a black on that. So, I think I'll also do some running st stitches here up at the top. This represents lace in here. And I don't know if there's too much more. I got a little bit of detailing to do yet, but Maybe a little bit of gold on the crown. There. I'm liking that. I got some more detailing to do on there. What did I do with the cap? I'm going to let that dry. It's not quite done, but I'm afraid I'll mess it up if I do any more until this, this dries. Let me come out and look at chat. I want to do some more up in here, maybe with a fine point pen. And I have some to do in there yet. But there it is. There she blows. My little bird.
Now the eye doesn't show up too well. Maybe it needs a little white glimmer in there. Let's put a little white speck in the eye. Now that I... Well, maybe I can take my brush. I don't want to get too much of a... Did I put it back in the... Here it is. Let's take just a little speck in the eye. There. And I might have to even darken that a little more. All right, I'm going to set this aside, let it dry. We've got three more to do, but let me come out and look at chat. Here's, here is it unpainted. All I did on this was draw the bird and paint the background with the, this buttermilk paint, which I'm going to put up because I'm done with it. Okay, let me look at chat. See if I bored you guys silly. Mary. You need to finish outlining the ribbon. Yeah, I saw that, Lisa. I saw that. Right in here. I saw that. And I want to do some up in here. but And I want to put some gold on the crown. And I might do something more with that eye. It doesn't look like an eye. Maybe it just needs a little... Uh, I'll have to think. And I, I haven't done the wing yet either because I just painted it. So... A little more detailing to do on there. But they represent the birds that are going to go in here. Let me come out. Let me refresh chat. Lisa, it's so good to see you. There's Chaz. <laughs> Chaz, your bird's going to get some more done to it. I'm, I, I just, I'm not happy. I'm happy with it, but it, it just needs more. It, uh, I want to do more to it. I'm going to take this butterfly off and put it over here and i i'm kind of happy with this charm this feathery charm here the fan but i'm going to give it a, i'm going to take it off i might put that on the tail on one side here probably over here i'll have to decide where i want to put that but i'm going to put one of the crowns like i put on uh i'm going to do i'm going to do a crown with the feathers and I think I'm, I think I got some white fun fur like this. Uh, and I think I also have a black or a brown, but I think a white would probably go better. I don't think I have a yellow fun, fun, fun fur, kind of makes the feathery, that I'm going to give it a crown. So I'm, I'm not done with yours yet, Chaz. Becky says she's fading. She's going to say good night. Becky, you go get some rest. Go take a nice shower if you haven't already. You probably have. I know I come in from working in the garden. I'm all hot and sweaty and I feel yucky and I take a shower and I go, ah, I'm ready for a nap. So have a great weekend, Becky. I'm going to catch up with your channels. Good night. Buttermilk. Yeah, buttermilk background. Is that what I said, buttermilk? Uh, and the color does look a little better milky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Paula says, such a happy and wonderful bird. Thank you, Paula. And Chaz. And Lisa and Calico Kate. And Pam. Stitch it, Pam. Hi, Pam. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's... There's Shannon, Art Junkie. Hi, Shannon. Welcome, welcome. Calico K. Teresa says, I wish I were that good. Paul, yes, Mary's going to use the envelopes to post the, the cute birds. Yeah. They're bubble envelopes. and But I feel like I need the bubble envelopes to protect them. And I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to do anything to the front. I might do something around the border. Uh, but they like to, the post office throws stuff on the front that, I'll leave the front for them. What else is going on here? Chaz came in, Shannon's here, Paula, Calico Kate's, good to see all of you guys. Chaz says, Calico, yes, it's at 11 a.m. Saturday. Chaz, is Saturday morning for you now? 
11.50 a.m. Saturday. Let me write that down, Chaz. Because, well, this is, um, this is Friday night, right? <laughs> this is Friday night, so, Chaz, you stream tomorrow. Let me write this down. I've been... I want to, and I think Chaz is uh, working up a schedule too, she said this morning, and I might, I might grab some of her, but I like to have it out here on my desk so that I can reach for it. Let's see, Saturday, Saturday at 11.50 a.m., now, is that Eastern time? 11.50 what time? What time zone, Chaz? A.M. And, uh, Chris streams on Saturdays from, and Chris sent me a, a message, and, um, uh, on Sundays, on Sundays she streams, and she said that uh, you guys know MNW, she's from Israel, uh, has been joining Chris. And they've been doing some fun things together on Sundays. Um, I reserve my Sunday mornings. I don't, if I'm on Sunday mornings, it'll be real, real early in the morning. But I reserve my Sundays for my church time. Chaz, is it Saturday? There's a pile of debris out front to prove it, Becky says. <laughs> Becky's cleaned the yard up today. Did a lot of yard work. Um, Tarot Stash said, good night, everyone. I'm having a late dinner with my husband. Thank you for this stream. Thank you, Tarot Stash, for dropping in. It was nice to meet you. And I'd love to see more of your art and your fabric landscapes. Aw, oh, thank you, Lisa. She said your birds are so cute. Thank you, Lisa. Aw. Chaz says, yes, I have nodded off watching videos. Yeah. Lisa says, I wish I could go to sleep like that. I love seeing people do stuff with envelopes, Paula says. These are six by nine envelopes. Six... Six inches wide, nine inches tall. And all I'm going to put in is the bird, and I may put a piece of uh, scrapbook paper or something around them, craft paper, uh, that brown craft paper to keep it, you know, hold on to it. But I probably won't put any more on there. All right. I think I'm caught up with most of you. Uh, Stacy May says... No, you were a bit befuddled in the beginning. <laughs> I had a, a rough time logging in. Uh, getting everything situated. All right, so I started this bird painting blue. Now, do I want to make another blue one? Or should I make a red bird? I, I don't want to make a yellow bird because there's so much yellow on the envelope anyway um and i don't really want to do it brown or green i think i'll do a red bird let's do a red bird just for the fun of it <laughs> and you really don't need a whole lot of paint it's amazing how how little paint you actually need and i've been using a a uh, angled brush I find that works really good to get into the little areas. Now, on the bird, I don't have that many little areas. But when I was doing the background here, I wanted to get in there. I almost felt like I was, if, if I used the very tip, I almost felt like I was using a paint pen. But you don't need a whole lot. Now, I'll go back in. This paint is, uh, well, this is, happens to be Apple Barrel. Uh, bright red. But I'm going to have to do more than one coat of it. it. It seems pretty thin. So this little bird's going to be red. And I'm just going to paint over the eye and the stitching. And I'll come back and 
you see how thin that paint is. I'll have to give this more than one coat. Let's get that fine liner out of the way. Get the pink out of the way. Yeah, I really got sidetracked this morning doing that pin-up pin doll. <laughs> pin-up paper doll. And this is craft paint, so it it dries pretty fast. Um, I could go assembly line style here and, and do the bodies of all the envelopes. Uh, what other colors could I make? Uh, could I do a gold bird? Uh, yeah, we're going to make one of our birds gold. And I can't get a whole lot of detail, like... Yeah, I could maybe put some French knots or something on there, but the dots show up over in here, so we'll we'll just leave it what it is. I think I'll do one of the birds gold, uh, a gold color, and it probably won't show up much until I get everything colored though. And blue, I guess we could do a black bird, but I don't know. I don't really am not helped in doing a green bird either. Maybe a lavender bird. <laughs> All right. So on this one, I painted the ribbon. I painted the bird. Well, I painted the bird, the body of the bird blue, and then I gave it a red breast. On this one, I don't have a red breast in here. I don't have a tummy area. So, but I, I also made the ribbon blue and the tatting string blue and this blue. So I'm going to make this red and this red and this red. And I'm not going to, this is my tatted butterfly up in here. He needs a little more detail. I might put, I might outline him in white. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to do, while I have my, see how little paint I used on this? Let's go ahead and do the ribbon here. But I'll probably have to give it another coat yet. But it takes so little paint. It's so fun to do these. And you know what? This is still wet. I could go ahead and do the beak. Maybe I'll do the beak on all of these birds while that paint is wet. Because then I won't waste it. And I actually... What color did I make? I made those charms uh, red it, it, they represent charms they almost look like a feather going down there but that's okay I'm happy with it so I might make these blue and the wing blue And there's te you can kind of see some text down at the bottom here. Down in here. My thin paint. I'll have to give it more than one coat. But it's it's wet. So let's do the let's do the thread. Well, actually, I'm going to stop and do the the beak on all my birds while this paint is still a little wet. Let's go ahead and do the beak. Let's 
Man. Oh, here comes a choo-choo train. Since we have that uh, central air, I don't have the door open, so I don't hear the train as much every now and now I'll outline that in black but I'm gonna stop on this I see I need to do some red in there yeah, I'm gonna stop on this and put the beak on the other two envelopes this one and I got two more to do here I'm I'll be at this all weekend at the rate I go I'm not a very fast artist I and especially when I stream, I have to explain myself. I'm trying to figure out what other colors I want to do these birds. I don't want a green bird. And I really don't want a black bird. We'll have to think about it. I could do yellow, but yellow... I don't know about yellow either. Gold... Yeah, I don't know about that either. So let me wash this out. And go back to this. And I was doing the ribbon coming down. And you'll see if you look at this, if you could look at it really close, you could see little areas that I miss. Oopsies. All right. And let's let's do the top. It's going to be red too. But I'll probably I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. We'll play with it. We'll see how it ends up. What time is it? It's 9.15. I'm only going until 10 o'clock on Friday nights. So I'll probably be working on these envelopes until the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed watching me sort my stuff behind me. I have, I took everything out of that big box. And I have a box of larger things like those, those book jackets that had the fussy cuts in them and I took the art journal the Oaha Oaha whatever it is art journal I took that out I'll put that with my art journals it's not done it needs more work but you know what art is a journey it's nice to have finished things but if you don't have finished things it's okay I want to work in my oriental journal a little bit more. Oh, let's see. I want to do... And I'm just using the tip of this angle brush. And I could use a smaller brush. You could get a smaller brush and paint this too. In fact, maybe I will on this because it's, let me wash this brush out and go to that smaller one. Did I put that one in the water? I think I, or did I put it over here? We'll use this one. Come on, get out of there. Come on. You ever talk to your tools, your art? It's stuck in there. Is this the one I was using? I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna use this smaller brush to do this thread. And I'll come in and with my black pen and detail all this again. Somebody's gonna get a red bird.
Now, Lisa streams on Monday afternoons. I've got to write all that down. I have Dee Dee down, and I have Be Aunt Beck down pretty good, too. Um, Dee Dee streams on, and Janet Nash stream on Monday mornings. Dee Dee streams at 8.30 Eastern, and Janet Nash streams on at 9 Eastern on Monday mornings. And I try, I haven't been good about getting to either one of them, but my plan is to visit Janet Nash on Mondays and Dee Dee on Wednesdays. And Janet has been doing a lot of process videos, which I try to watch those too, and that's where I picked out these birds from one of her process videos. Now, I don't think Dee Dee does process videos. She likes to just come on and what she does is what you get. She's a little live streamer. She did have her grandson on with her, was it last Monday? That they were working together? I can't remember. I peeked in. All right. Oh, I got this one to do. It looks like a Christmas bird almost, doesn't it? Well, it's a red bird. There are red birds. Cardinals are red birds. Red birds are... Now, let's see. I think I'll do... the diamonds here red and I guess I think I'll do these in blue and these dots in red and we'll see what happens here let's do these dots in red and the diamonds in red It really, once you get going here, it doesn't, it doesn't take too long. Now, I'm going to do the wing and the charms, the dangle, and these diamonds in blue. The wing here will be black, and I'll come in with some more white in there. The butterfly... I think I'll do that in blue, too. It'll be a blue and red bird. And look how little paint I used for that. I might give this another coat, but I don't know if it even needs it. Um, let's do the blue. Look how little paint I used. I learned that from our friend Cat Hand. She will just squeeze out. Now, this is almost empty. So I can't really squeeze any. I have to kind of pour it out. I don't need a whole lot. But she just puts a little dab of paint. She squeezes just out a little dab of paint. That's probably more than I need. So let's do the crown first. The diamonds on the crown. Here. Oh, I got red on that. I that washed out. Nah. Yeah, I picked up painting these envelopes from Aunt Beck. She did. She does. I think she did some bunny rabbits too. And she likes to paint envelopes. And I think I picked up the painting envelope from Becky. I wonder if I make this bird's eye blue. Maybe I'll come in on that other one and make it blue. Let's see. No, because it won't show up on here. I'm not happy with that eye. I have to think about it a little more. And the wing is going to be blue. 
in here and I'll have to come back in in detail when I say detail I mean outline with my black pen and so we're just gonna this is kind of a almost looks like what you would do with a felt of a felt piece oh see that red wasn't dry need a little purple there or did I dip it in red? I might have dipped that in red. See if I can cover that up. I must have, might have dipped my pen in the red and my brush in the red instead of the blue there. But it almost looks like a little felt bird, doesn't it? And just kind of color it in I'm not I'm not worrying about tonal values or anything like that on this this is just a little painted envelope it's not meant to be a oil painting or an acrylic painting it's just a mail art it's just a mail art So there's the wing. Now, I think I'll come in with blue dots up in here. I don't know how much they'll show up. I might change those later on, but I think I'll do blue ones now up in there. We'll see how that works. They kind of the blue and the red kind of blend together and these are going to be yellow flowers whoops I don't want red I want blue and I think I'm going to make my butterfly blue my tatted butterfly here and he has a tail that comes down here and there and this really is simple art there's I mean this is not hard to do I had to draw it but painting this is just almost like coloring in a way coloring with paint instead of Crayola or pens or ink whatever you guys use to color with I don't no I don't follow the color the people that color so much so I don't know what's going on in their world now the lace is going to be black with white and we're going to do some blue dangles down here this bird is red and blue 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 dangles down in here No, I just make this one bigger. Trying to get too much on there. And I'll come in with my fine liner and put a a line around the to help separate them. Yeah, I'm going to cover that up, make the dangle out of it. That's a big dangle. <laughs> a big dangle there. And let's put one in here. And then I'm going to come in with my red. There's some spots in there that need in here. You guys may not notice them, but I do in here.
ribbon behind it. This is pretty thin paint for Apple Barrel. Usually Apple Barrel's paints are pretty opaque. This is a transparent red, let me tell you. Alrighty, let me straighten this ribbon out a little more. I might come in with white around down there at the bottom. All right. So this area in here is going to be black. All the antenna. Um, I'm making it blue, but it's going to blend into the black unless I leave a little outline around it. But when I tap. I've just started doing multicolored butterflies, but most of my butterflies are all the same color when I tapped. And that's what these represent. I put tatted butterflies on the birds. So, I think I'm going to set this one aside and let what I did dry. Because I see wet spots. Let's see what other color I want to make this. I want to work on this one. What time is it? It is 9, 9.30. Yeah, I'll have time to do the... Let's see what color. I don't really want to do green. I got a lavender color. A violet bird. We'll have to check that one out. I could do a teal color, but I don't know. Teal pearl? Uh, I could do a copper, a worn penny. A metallic worn penny. I kind of like the idea of doing that. Uh, what other metallic? I have a matte. That's a shiny metallic. I have that. those matte metallics. Where are they? Here. We have a antique gold. Um, this is brushed metal. Antique gold. I like the idea of a gold bird. <laughs> Why do you like a gold bird, Mary? Uh, got espresso, not metallic. I got a. These are my browns. Where are my metallics? Hold it up one more, Mary. Yeah, a pink bird. I don't know about that. Here's a rose gold. I'm going to try a rose gold. And uh, a brushed gold. I kind of like this one better, but I might not like it on the envelope better. I'm looking, and we have a s silver, and most of the brushed metals are, there's the Warren Penny again. Hmm, what's this, hold on, let me put this. Hold the phone, everything's fine. These are, I got these from, not the Frugal Crafter, but Frugal, she used to stream with us on Sunday night. Frugal 
I can't remember. I chance the word frugal. I get her mixed up with Lindsay. And here's a a kind of a light teal. It looks purple there. But it's kind of a light blue. And there's a this is tiger orange. And Carmine. Carmine red and this says avocado green. Let's get my uh, hold the phone a minute here while I look for that other envelope. Why is it when I want it? This envelope I messed up. I started trying sketching this bird and I sketched him upside down on the because he just wasn't fitting so I'm going to use this to test out some of these colors and see what I like we'll come back to that this is a test this is a test this is brushed gold and we're just going to take a bit out of the cap shake it up a little and let's do it on the front, maybe right in there. Now, it, it'll also be, it, it will have that buttermilk. Let's put a buttermilk. It'll dry fast. Because I want to see how it'll look up against, I want to see how the colors will look. Let's just do a buttermilk background here real fast <sighs> my brush is wet I could have painted this the back of that out. That's what I should have done. Paint my little bird out. But this will be a test swatching. Okay. Hold it, it's too thick in here. Now, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Get my heat gun. If I can find my heat gun. I'll find the cord to it and follow the cord to the gun, the heat gun. Let me plug it in. I'm going to dry that off real fast. We're just going to do some swatching because I want to see the colors. I want to make my other birds. I'm a slow. I'm slow at arting. I'm not, don't do this lickety split stuff. This will dry pretty fast. It is bubble wrap in there, so I've got to be careful. I melt, melt the bubble wrap together on the inside, but I guess it won't matter too much on there. That wasn't dry. <laughs> I 
get out a clean towel. I hope I'm not boring you guys, but this is how I art. This is how I art. I think it's pretty dry. All right. I miss having my cart. Ooh, I got a little what? I miss having my cart right next to me. It's over across the room. Let's get out a clean towel. I think it's dry enough to do some swatches on. All right, I'm well, going to start with this brushed gold. Put my buttermilk away. And it's got a couple of wet spots on here. Let me put this up so I don't. to get to the spot. Hold on. Gotta turn my cart until I get to the right shelf. All right. I'm ready. Brush. Where's the other brush? Did I knock it off or did it? Next to fall. All right. Brushed gold. I don't think it's going to be dark enough to, and I'm just going to swash out of the cap. Oh, it's kind of pretty. So that's brushed gold. Metal. Brushed metal. But it's called brushed gold. This is... This is rose gold. No, this is antique gold. The other is rose gold. Kind of like the idea of rose gold. We'll see how it looks on here. So that's brushed gold. And this is brushed antique gold. I'm going to, almost looks the same. Oh, it's a little bit lighter. Antique gold is a little bit lighter than the brushed gold. That's interesting. I would have thought those two would be switched around. Antique gold for me seems like it should be a darker color, but it's not. It's a lighter... It's a lighter color, but it's brushed antique gold, and that's just brushed gold. That's interesting. And then this one is the rose gold. I don't really care for either of these. I We'll see what this one looks like. I, I'm wanting a darker gold, maybe more of a worn penny color. I probably have a bronze in there too, but worn penny is almost... Okay, this is the rose gold, and that's, well, that's kind of mixing in with some white. Let's do it down there. That's kind of pretty. It's got a little red tint to it. Kind of a pinkish gold. That's pretty. I kind of like that. I'm thinking the copper is going to be my, the worn penny is going to be the, the winner here. And it's juicy. It's juicy. It's deco art. Those others are folk art. Folk art is a thicker paint. Ooh, and you know what? It's gunky. I think I have another worn penny. I could hear it juice in there, but there's some gunk. I'm not going to... I think I've got another one here. Let me reach for it. 
I hope it's not. Here's a splendid gold. We'll see what that is. Hold on, let me find my one penny. Here's a. Well, this one better not be gunky. This one, I don't think I've used it much. This one's getting old. But I could hear it. When I shook it, it sounded juicy. It just got some gunk at the top. I'm not going to play with that. This is Warren Penny again. Better not be gunky at the top. No. This is Warren Penny. This is a darker color. This may be closer to what, what I'm going for. Well, I got the whole paint. White paint isn't dry. It's mixing in. Yeah. It feels dry. There are some wet spots on it, but that worn penny. Well, do I have it on my brush? Let me get out the heat gun again. I'll paint over that. I thought it was all dry. Evidently it's not. Mary's just having fun experimenting. No, it, it might be. Let's pour some out on my. Oh, that's the gunky stuff. Let's pour some out. That's more than enough. <laughs> That's enough to do 20 birds there. That's the color I'm going for, but it sure does. Yeah. It must have been something on my brush in that cap or something, because this is, I think this one might win out. That's one penny. I'm going to paint that on my paper that I have out here that I saved out this morning for scrap paint. That's going to go in my Imagine journal. That's what all it's going to happen to all of this. What's still wet. Let's wash this off. Alright, and let's try that was the worn penny. That's the old stuff. Uh, that's splendid gold. Oh, that's worn penny. What's this? That's worn penny. Splendid gold. Deco art. Splendid gold or splendor. Dazzling metallic. I I don't use this one very much either. In fact, I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> this one is... This one is... Unused. Brand new. <laughs> An old brand new. I better shake it up some more. Oh. So brand new that it's...
I think I should start using it. Oh, see that's, it's almost a yellow. Maybe my, let's do this again. I don't want to get too much. I'm not sure why it did what it did over there. Is that wet? Yeah. Mary's playing! I hope you don't mind my experimenting here. I thought this was all dry. It feels dry. Well, that's from a dirty hand. Cut some little wet spots on it. That's probably where it's picking up that white. I think I'm leaning toward the warm penny and the lavender. I won't test the lavender on here. We'll see. This is splendid gold here. It's it's not that dark gold that that I'm used to. It's almost too yellow, too yellowy for me. It would blend in with this. On here it would just blend in on the back. So I'm not too happy with that. Well, now when I hold it in, hold it a different way, it looks darker. It's got some but I'm thinking the warm tinny is so if I use a metallic. Now let's go to this lavender. I don't have a whole lot in there. It might even be dry. I think Becky sent me some lavender. I might look for that. Becky sent me some. Let's see what I have in here. I don't need a whole lot. I think my brush is causing this issue here. Because I dried that. I don't know if I can get any more out of this. I expect it to be a darker color. I don't need a whole lot, but if I make the bird... Oh. Mary's talking to herself. She's trying to figure things out here. I thought I had this envelope all well. I did have a little wet spot down there. Now I like the idea of a lavender bird. If I can get one. Yeah. I think my brush is wet. I don't like a wet brush. And I won't be painting over white when I paint my birds. I'll be painting directly on the manila, not the white. So this is kind of a false test, but this paint's pretty thin. That's, I kind of like that, and I like the copper. Throw this away. Yucky poo. Get a clean towel out. These towels are Christmas snowflakes on them. That's how long that lasted me. So if I can 
find that other lavender that Becky sent me. It should be up here. Is this it? No. I might have put it in with the blues. He sent me a purple and a here. It's a metallic. It's not a craft paint. She sent me a pink. I think I used all the pink that she sent me. Or no, she might have sent me this. She sent me some folk art. I think Becky sent me these. Let's see what this one turns out to be. I'm almost afraid to try it. getting any out of that. It's a lighter color. All this because I want to <laughs> I want to figure out what color I want to make my other birds. I can't figure out why that paint it seems to pick up the, I know this is dry, but it seems to pick up the craft paint underneath of it. I can't figure out why it's doing that. Because I know this is dry. I've dried it three or four times now. But it seems to, I seem to have to dry it and give it another coat in order to get the color. Where's the heat gun? I'm just playing. This is a good way to end out my stream. i got five minutes to go here. I think I'm leaning toward doing a copper one. I wanted to do a lavender one. I might go through my stash of paint and see if I have any more lavender. I kind of like this that Becky sent. It's a lighter lavender. I wonder what would happen if I mixed the two. I'll grab some of this. One's metallic and one's craft. I don't know if that's a true test there. All right, one more thing I want to try, and that's this Martha Stewart pearl. Um, what color? It's a green pearl, teal. Uh, turquoise. Is it turquoise? No. It doesn't give a color name here that I see. It just says pearlad, pearlado, pearl, pearl, multi-surface. So you get the color from the bottle. I've had this, I brought this home from Wisconsin, the pearl paints. I don't buy Martha Stewart paint. And you can tell it's getting old. Probably maybe too old to come out of the bottle. I don't know if I can get any out. Barbara would be throwing this away. It's it's completely well there's there's the there's the color. Let's see if I can get any out. I probably won't use this. There it is there. Maybe it was just so empty 
It, the paint looks good. It's just so empty that it's hard to get it to squeeze out. I don't think the paint is bad. It's really a pretty color though, isn't it? Let's see how it looks on here. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Now I'm liking it. I'm liking this and I'm liking the purple and I'm liking the copper. Ooh, I'm liking that a lot. We might go with that after all. And the copper and the purple, I think I'll I think I'll do these two. So now that all decided, I'm going to take this sheet and let's just use our paint up here. Don't let it go to waste. And I'll put all these paints away after afterwards. Oh, my purple's about gone there. Is this one still here? I don't know. It doesn't show up much on the brown paper. Let's do the... Well, I did the warm penny, didn't I? Let's do the gold. And, of course, my paint is... Paintbrush goes from one color to the other with no cleaning in between. That's what you have scrap paper for, is this stuff. Don't waste my paint. Alright, let's turn it this way. And this is what I wiped off this morning. I'm going to cover it up. Or paint around it. And this will go in my imagine the unimaginable here. Grab some more of that gold and that's dry, that's oh that's a little wet. I'm gonna put some of that on here. Yeah, is that dry? some more pearl in there. Just so we don't waste it, I'll use it up. I think I got it. Alrighty. So what did I do tonight? I sorted stuff and I painted birds. I finished. I didn't finish. I still have detailing to do. Let me put this down here to dry. We we sorted a box and this has some detailing to do on it yet. And I swashed an envelope testing out all my how my metallic my different golds and purples. I think I would do like this one and the worn penny. That's the bad worn penny. These others. Where's the, where's the good worn penny? This one? No, that's Becky's. Over here. I'm going to keep these two out. We didn't swash this pink. Let's do that real fast. We didn't swatch that pink. I just wasn't sure I'd want a pink bird, but I wasn't sure I'd want that either, and I like it. So let's see if I can't swatch this real fast. This is what Becky sent me. She sent me, I'm pretty sure, this and this purple, which is 
this color. What did I do with my brush? Did I put it in the water? Yeah. No, that's not it. What did I do with it? What did I do with my brush? I got my little one. Did it fall in here? No. I must have put it back in the... Was that the one I was using? Yeah. Let me get this relatively clean. Let's see how this pink works. Oh, it's pretty. I kind of like it. I like these three right here. So I think I'll keep it out. Maybe I'll use it for an accent color. So we're going to keep. And these are all going to go back. I'll do those later. Alrighty. So let me come out and say goodnight to everybody. This is going to become my thumbnail. And I want to thank you, those of you that are still stuck with me the whole stream and I just refreshed my chat and I lost everything except for the first few I wish YouTube wouldn't do that I I lost everybody but except for Paula and Teresa thank you Teresa you're the inspiration great imagination station of Mary's unimaginable journal that's what it is and it, you know I should when this dries, I think I'll take this envelope apart and put the swatches in there. I might play with this a little bit more, write down the different names if I can remember them. This was the brushed antique gold, and I found it very interesting that it's lighter than the brushed gold. I would have mixed those two up. This was the... Uh, Splendid gold, uh, and that's the rose gold. I forget what this was. That might have just been a trial of the copper here. I forget what that one was. It, I'll have to check. I got a couple of messes here. This was the craft violet, and this was the pearl, the folk art that Becky sent me, and that's where I tried to mix them. And this was Martha Stewart, and this is what Becky sent me, the pink. I might put that in my journal. Good night, everybody. Thanks for... Oh, Allie Kay is here. She says, I've been lurking tonight. That's perfectly okay, Allie Kay. I lost everybody, so when... I don't know. It just seems lately, when I try to refresh my chat, it all disappears. And somebody said that they were... YouTube was fooling with that stuff. I wish they wouldn't do that because I can't scroll back. And what if you're doing a game? What if you're doing a game and you refresh the chat and there's people that sell stuff and they refresh their streams to sort things out and everything? What if you're doing a, a giveaway? YouTube, I hope that's not going to be a YouTube thing. If it is, they're time with it <laughs> I guess you'd have to wait until it processes to find a winner or do it fast all right it's past 10 it's seven past 10 so I want to wish you all a, a really good weekend have a great weekend um, uh, just take care of yourself you first take care of you you first, because if you don't take care of you first, you can't take care of anybody else. And I might put some stitching. Just as I look at this, I might put some running stitches around here. Maybe some faux stitching. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Go out and enjoy it while you have it.
Bye.